Yes. Live. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. And we have a new face, El Marie. Welcome, El Marie. Thank, Thank you for you. coming out today to One Million Cups. Um, so, hi, I'm Graham Dodds. I'm the executive director of Magic, uh, and I just want to thank our sponsors, as usual. Thank Genie Bird Baking Company for providing the baked goods and the coffee this morning here at Startup Portal, and thank you to Rick Leinbach and Startup Portal for hosting, and of course, the Magic team, uh, represented today by not only myself, but also Kim Samuelson and Gabby Rose for uh, coordinating all the swag giveaway stuff that we're going to do today and the trivia questions that you all have to answer. Poor El Marie, you know, she won't be able to answer any of them. So I'll have to figure out another way to get her some swag today. <laughs> um, so um, what we usually do, and for those of you on Facebook who are new as well, we run through what One Million Cups is all about. So the mission of One Million Cups is to lower the barrier of access to education, resources, and connections for entrepreneurs. Uh, the mission does not get accomplished without the core pillars of the program, which are that this is about presentations and not pitches, connection, not networking, culture to be for the community, by the community. So therefore, no one has ownership of One Million Cups Westminster. No one's being paid to do One Million Cups Westminster. And we are radically and intentionally inclusive. Um, One Million Cups Westminster is funded by the Kauffman Foundation. They are technically the owners of One Million Cups Westminster, and they are the largest philanthropic nonprofit set up to support entrepreneurship in the country, if not the world. Um, the core program design is that this is we meet every week, Wednesdays at 9 a.m. We have two presenters when possible. Today we have no presenters, but that's why we um, come up with other ways to still gather and have community updates. So a few of us will be getting up and, and sharing updates about our businesses <laughs> and our other community events. Um, but uh, for the for the entrepreneurs and the businesses that present a formal presentation, we ask that they are less than five years old. The businesses, not the individuals, are less than five years old, <laughs> willing to ask for help, and that we always end with you know asking them, what can we as a community do to help you? By the way, we are the only, still the only One Million Cups community in Maryland. There's one in Indiana, Virginia, one in D.C., a um, couple from Pennsylvania. Ours is the only one in Maryland. Uh, and our organizing team are the following volunteers, myself, Russ Hammett, uh, Vicki Slinkman from Ting, Jonathan Wheatman, attorney at law, Tina Thomas from Infinite Love Project, Julius Knapp from Dirigible Systems, and Gabby Rose from Magic. So with that said, we are going to, I guess we'll start with some swag giveaways. So let me... Um, Pull up the trivia questions. Hold on. I'm playing Vanna. I've got it here. Okay, so Kim oh, Samuelson's going to come up and play Vanna White for us. Um, you the screen. I know, purposely. <laughs> All right, so if you're watching on Facebook Live, you can still participate. You know, we generally know who you are and we know where you live, so we'll make sure we give the swag to you. So, um, that sounds ominous. We know where you live. Or work at least. Okay. All right, so here, okay, well, this is an unfair question for certain people in the room, but um, who can name the first pair of One Million Cups Westminster presenters? <laughs> she knows she had to recuse herself. I do, I do, I have to recuse myself. Who knows? The first two presenters. Hint. Tina. And? Oh, oh, real? okay, all minute? right. Hey, good morning, Steve. All right, so. Can I get my hint? Yeah, but Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, that's a good hint. Anybody on Facebook comment? All right. So, um, Tina, go ahead. Uh, Dirigible Systems and Infinite Love Project. Infinite Love Project, yeah. Yeah. great. So we want to just give her whatever we feel like giving her or let her choose? Let's give her Tina. Let her choose. We'll let her choose. What would you like to have, Tina Thomas, from? We have Love this Project. wonderful one million cups. We have <laughs> magic lanyards. Yay! And we have our new magic stickers. I and we, God. And we have and we have uh, another magic t-shirt. Yeah. Do we? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we have magic t-shirt. Mark, Mark, Mark definitely a t-shirt. All right, well, come on over yeah. and you can help pick out whatever you want in here. So it would be like. These are captioned flags. <laughs> Uh, and yes, for those of you who don't know, we are streaming live on Facebook here. That's what this camera's for. Good morning, Steve Lowe from 127 Creative just walked in. <coughs> All right. So the next question is, when was One Million Cups Westminster established? 
Oh, oh Westminster branch. Yeah. Our community. Yeah. Rick Leinbach from Starport. October 2020. That's correct. What would you like? What swag would you like that you don't already have? I don't know. A lanyard. A lanyard? Yeah, guys. Nice. All right, get a magic lanyard. Thank you, Rick, for playing. <clears throat> All right. Oh, this is a great question. Okay, uh, again, people from Startup Portal might have to recuse themselves for this one. Um, uh, where is Startup Portal about to open their second location? This was announced last week. I know you know, Seth. <laughs> oh, Steve? Oh, oh so close. Oh, 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 somewhere out there. Somewhere that way. Keep going. Keep hey, going further west. Further? Huh? I'm not that good at geography. Oh, come on. Cumberland. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Chris All right. got it. Chris got it. Chris right. got it. Chris, Chris from Carroll Technology and Innovation Council. Yeah. The new executive director. Uh, welcome, Chris, and congrats on your new role. I hope I didn't steal your thunder for any community update you were about to give. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which, uh, what swag would you like to have? We've got the mugs, got? travel mugs, one million cups. I the coffee cup. Coffee cup? Feel free to take coffee. Yeah. So um, the story behind the swag here also, we just, just we, we came up. into a lot of swag. We'll see. We came into a lot of swag because one of the cups did have a program in Towson, Maryland. They had a program in Towson, Maryland that was not, <clears throat> did not end up sort of staying around. How long ago did so, you try to start that up, you know? How long ago? Yeah. Uh, I believe it was a few years before us. Okay. So yeah. um, I think it had already wound down before I even applied. So this would have been pre-2018, I'm guessing. Um, but anyway, so they had these original coffee mugs that I've never seen before. I think these are like original, original. And then, of course, we have the more current as well, but we got a whole bunch of these from the Towson um, people who said who were setting that up. Okay, next um, question. Yes. There's a bit of a delay on Facebook, and we're getting late answers from Mark and from Jen. Oh, oh. did they get it correct? They did both times. Mark Weingroup. Mm. Oh, and Jen. And Jen. Jen yeah. Jen Young. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Jen, you're my neighbor. I'll just tell us in the comments which one what you want. We've got. And Mark will mail yours to you. Mark will mail. Okay, all right. And Jen said she is having her morning tea in the mug she got last week. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, great. Nice. All right, sorry for the delay there. I guess that's to be expected. Maybe that makes trivia questions a little more difficult to uh, perform with Facebook Live. All right. <laughs> what is the name of the company that provided the hotel chat functionality for websites that presented? Remember, they presented remotely. Yes. They were in Granada? Grenada? Yeah. They, they corrected me. Yes. On how to pronounce and that. I can't remember which was the correct pronunciation. Does anyone remember without looking at your phones? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just looking at the chat to see if anybody else knows. Talk okay. Trivia. Oh, yeah, let's give it a second on the chat. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Does anybody here know? Anybody just want to answer? Tina. I'm, I'm going to give it a try. It, 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 isn't it chat something? Close. It's guest chat. Ah, it's guest yeah. chat. Chat was in there. Somewhere. Uh, yeah, the founder was. Uh, I think he was originally from San Diego. He yes. moved to Grenada, Grenada, with his wife. With his wife, his his wife's family that owned the hotel businesses there, right. and so he was an engineer or some sort, some sort of techie guy, and saw yeah. that they needed a better system for you know court communicating with their guests, mm -hmm. and I guess the. Um, hotel industry, like the services like kayak and those types of services, those booking services were kind of squeezing the hotel industry for money. So they came up with a sol an alternative solution. I hope they are doing well. Okay, who provides our delicious coffee and pastries each week? I know. Bernie's. That's, what would you say? Yeah, say that. Oh, it's Bernie's. Bernie's, it's not Bernie's. Very Bird, close. Bird, Bird. 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 Oh, there you go. Yeah, right. All right, Steve, what do you want? I want that silver one. That With this fancy, yeah, yes. antique, vintage, yes, uh, OG, one million cups. Of course they're at the bottom. Sorry. I never win anything. Here. This is awesome. I can give him this one. Okay. Look at that, And it has a little baggy to come with. A little, oh, there you go. All right. really good without the baggy. Thank you. <laughs> the sanitary bag. Thank you for getting no, that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We'll, get, we'll, we'll take care of you today. We'll take care of you. <laughs> right. yeah, everybody gets something today. Okay, so what is the national organization that began and sponsors the One Million Cups program? Seth. Coffee Foundation. The Coffee yeah. Foundation. Come on up. Yeah, he cheated. It's right there. I know. 
<laughs> I mean, how much easier can we get? Uh, oh, Jim is here. Excellent. All right, come on up. What do you want? You want a mug? T-shirt. Sure. Uh, magic or one of the cups? That'd be great. Great. Right. Right. Go ahead and let Kim know what size you want. We'll dig one out for you. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so, okay, the next question. Where is Westminster Street Coffee located? This is a trick question. Oh, it is a trick like, question. Like town? Manchester. Oh, oh no, so no, close. No, no, no. I already won. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. Although, Nick, we'll take care of you. Then. Elmer, what would you like? Would you like a mug, a t-shirt, a lanyard? I'll take the money cup t-shirt. This one? Sure. Yeah, come on up and, and let Kim know what size you want. What size you looking at? All right. All right, well, Elmer is getting her t-shirt. Let's move on to the next question. What is the name of the organization that helps connect nurses and caregivers to those seeking care at home? I know that one. I think the nurse link? Nurse link. Yeah. That's right, Steve. Somebody, oh, from one point somebody else can have something. Uh, you can get something else. Again? Yeah. I'll take it. It's all about. So we got, right. And we got to keep Don't an eye be on chat because um, Jennifer had said Kaufman on one of those. Yes. She also just yes. answered New York City. You know what? She also she just did. answered New York City. must be present to win. No, no. Are you already you said we don't. Steve Lowe of 127 Creative <laughs> Sense. <laughs> so, so since Steve already won, Jen said nurse one. There you go. Well, Jen just won, Jen won something too. Yes, yeah, yeah, she did. Okay. She's answered almost every single question. Jen, we will, yeah, get, we will take care of you. All right. She's frowning. She's frowning. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. Turn that Jen, frown upside down. down. All right, uh, what's the name? Well, maybe we could have like the person who guesses first here and then the first person go. who guesses first on Facebook, they both get to win. Okay. You wanna do that? Let's yes. do that. Oh. So who get, did she guess first on all those other questions? Almost. Almost. And she Mark gets the whole one of the others? Oh, she's happy and saying okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving on. Uh, what's the name of the Habitat for Humanity secondhand store that opened here in Westminster? Uh, Restore. Restore, Yay! that's right. Judith and Cher, Hope yeah. Drawer. Come on up and pick out whatever swag you would like. We've got attractive mugs. We've got, I'm personally fond of the ceramic mug. For a long time, we were only giving the ceramic mugs to presenters. So they are harder to come by. And they actually really are the more rare of the mugs because we can only get a certain number of those uh, each, each year from the Coffin Foundation. <laughs> All right. Name two of the current one million Westminster one million West Cups Westminster uh, organizers. Two of the organizers. Oh. Speaking of organizers, one just walked through the door. Are you one? I am one. Yes. And um, John Wheatman, who's never here. And John Wheatman, who's never here. Did you hear that, John? Oh, never hear that, John. You can say rarely, but you can't say now. I'll say this: I've never seen him here. Oh well, I've seen him in, here once. In all three times I've been here. Right. <laughs> Just not the three just, times. Just, just not the three times you were here. Okay, fair we enough. got your back, John. Good morning, Vicky. I love we're you, John. Giveaway. Okay, so, um, so Steve, you got it again. So seriously, t-shirt. T-shirt. Yes, I'll do a t-shirt. Yeah. Magic let, or the one million cups. I'll do the one million cups. Uh, That's one of the best logos ever invented. Isn't it? What's that? Just start with Steve and ask him the question. We'll go with a large. You got it. Right. Yeah. Okay, what is the question that we ask at the end of what we're supposed to ask at the end of other Mickey Slinkman? What can we do to help? That's right. What can we do to help? Yeah. Mickey Slinkman from Tang, come on up and pick out what swag you would like. We've got these vintage travel mugs, the new travel mugs, the highly coveted. Are the vintage mugs. what Jan gave us? Yes. Nice. So, in Facebook, was there a response? Um, there a not the most recent one now. Oh, okay. All right, well. Yeah, feel free. How are you doing? Do you have any more vintage mugs down the, in the bottom? Yes, yeah. Pull one out from the table. No, it's like a jerk. <laughs> okay, so the answer to that question is what can we as a awesome. community do to help you? All right. And if we don't have your t-shirt size today, we can go. We just didn't want to bring like every single box of t-shirts that we have. So we'll, we'll Which is significant. Right <laughs> Which is significant. Okay. Oh, this is a good question. I, I don't even think I knew this off the top of my head. Where do you need to go to get some sweet rollers, authentic Amish cinnamon rolls? Ooh. Vicki? Chambersburg. Yes! Very good! Okay. Wow. I think there are a lot of techies. Vicki, you, you are on fire. You were on fire this morning. I'm pretty sure Lancaster, Pennsylvania would be one. 
No. Well, Sweet Rollers, they were one of our virtual presenters from oh, Pittsburgh, that's Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, By the way, Sweet Rocco has presented at least one other time for one of these Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> so the, we're getting word that Rocco from Sweet Rollers has presented yes. other one line cups community since. That's great. That's what it's all about. Just like two weeks ago. Well, and a lot of the One Million Cups communities do allow you to do virtual presentations like we do, and it's a great way to get your name out there, your business's name out there. And a lot of the One Million Cups communities are just as supportive of, of sort of outsiders as they are of their local community businesses. Okay, what is the name? Did you get, who, Vicki, you got that, right? Did you get where you needed? Yes, where you I wanted? Did. Okay. What is the name of the nonprofit here in Westminster that helps students get their passports and study abroad? Expanding Batteries and That's right. Chris, come on up and pick your next uh, your next winnings. All right. <clears throat> um, what book? This is a throwback. This is a, a callback to some early meetings. What book did Marco Greenberg come to promote on One Million Cups Westminster? Oh, Tina Thomas. Primitive. Oh. Yes, Primitive. Yes, he did that as a virtual presentation from New York City, I believe. And he was uh, referred to us by Josh Ambrose at the time and what? Justin or Jeremy Willett. I can never remember which one's which. Which one was that one? Um, Jeremy, who was the author? Jeremy, uh, what was the book? Oh, the book. Right. Marco yeah, yeah, Greenberg yeah. was promoting. Jeremy flies around Justin does websites. Yeah. <laughs> Justin flies around with videos. Amazing videos. Oh, yeah, I get to pick something else. Yeah, pick okay. something else. Come on over. They or get to wait and just, you know, grab a yeah. sling at once. No, but Mark Mark Weinberg has been participating in this a lot. What is we'll the name of, Mark. of a nonprofit started by Billy Live? Should we pick one? Oh, well, technically it's only purpose. one. Huh? Find your purpose. Find your purpose, that's right. Yeah. 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 Share hope to her. Come on up. Pick your next piece of swag. Yeah. <laughs> we got it. We got both. Yeah. All right, yeah, where is Billy Live? Okay. We really, we haven't seen you recently. Um, all right, who presented at our first in person meeting in June? Jeremy Love. Jeremy Willett from Willett. And, yes, and anybody else who the second presenter? Uh, she's a good friend of Billy's. In fact, I think she was at the workshop at Jenna Shriver's Together Studios along with Billy's first workshop. My... My house? My house, that's right. Come on up. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Do I have any more questions? Well, I, 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 okay. Let me improvise a couple. Of All right. So we still got lots of swag. We got plenty of time. Oh, and we have to tell you that um, Katie Spirit is now online, and she's going to answer. Oh, Katie, thank you. From Together We Own It. Um, and uh, the first person who responds here gets a prize, and the first person that responds on Facebook gets a prize too. So yeah, that would be Katie. She got the last two. She got the last one? The last two. The last oh. two questions. Good job, Katie. So we owe you some swag. You're welcome to either just swing by Magic's, off Magic's office on your way to your office, since we're so close, pick it up, or I can swing by your office and you let us know what you want. I've got mugs, I've got t shirts, and lanyards, and stickers. Okay. So, let's see here. Um, what? What? Oh, this is sort of a, I don't know if this is the right way of putting it. What is, what geogra geo, uh, geological element does Share Hope Through Art paint? Rocks. <laughs> Rocks, we're going to play rocks. Come on up, get your next piece of sweat. Woo! All right. Dart up board is on fire today. We got t-shirts, we've got... Oh, here's a good question. Who is the first... Did anyone on Facebook get that, by the way? No, come on, Facebook. All right, who are the only mother and son who have both presented... 
at One Million Cups Westminster. Two different presentations, mother and a son. I know that one. Oh. You know, uh-huh. Kent, you want to say? Well, no, because I can hit the swag all right. the time. Yeah. <laughs> See, Vicky's, I can hear Vicky we, we talking through We know the businesses in this game. Yeah, I can't remember the names. Oh, that's okay. Just, Do you know the business? It's Nurslings, and uh, it is the fitness. It's a personal trainer. Yeah, personal trainer. That's right, yeah. Yay! Uh, yeah, we'll just split a mug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You guys want to split a mug? I can help. Why do this? One million cups. This will make it easier for everybody else to participate. Christoph. How do you know she's Christoph, that's right. You got it. Well, I didn't know that was Gabby. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Gabby. Good job, Gabby. We should remember. That's why we keep her around because <laughs> Thanks, our memories crap. <laughs> oh, magical, right. Like she is a magical Burst Fitness. That was Christoph's company, Burst Fitness, right there. Christoph, okay. we need to see you again. Yes, come on in, give us an update. Yeah, we need an update. All right. What is the name of the new distillery opening in Westminster? Pop <laughs> <laughs> no. Spirit. Right there, Cavalian Spirit. <laughs> All right. No, on. Jen, you cannot get that one. All right. Who hasn't got any swag yet? Raise your hand if you have not gotten any swag. Oh, you got swag. <laughs> Nick, you have it? Yeah. Have all right. Well, Nick, we got it. All right. All right. Oh, what does magic stand for? Oh, this is... oh. <laughs> Nick! Nick! Minute play, gigabit innovation, plug. That's Woo! right! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is I a mug. This will be the, so what we'll do for the next set of questions that we'll be improvising is it the answer will be one of these companies here. Okay, all right. So it's multiple choice. And wait, before we before we go any further, Mark yeah. uh, Weingram um, online said covalent when you had asked that. Oh, okay, question. great, Mark. So he gets his online swag. All right, Mark, just keep keep a tally of what we owe you. We'll get it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Which of these companies, uh, I don't know if you can see this on Facebook well, but it's Covalent, Share Hope Through Art, Westminster Street Coffee, Cabo, Cato, Sustent Energy, Burst Fitness Restore, Athene, Cope Notes, Together Studios, Guest Gen, Personics. Which of these teams is helping to improve health outcomes in the BIPOC community? Vicki Slinkman. Ithini. That's right, Ithini, which is a Swahili word for, I forget now, maybe inclus inclusivity, something like that. Uh, yeah, Gerard Charlot, who came out here in person, presented, he was, uh, came out here from Baltimore. Uh, all right, so we're still on the board here. Ithini's already been taken, and Covalent Spirits has been taken. Um, but we still have others that we have not uh, referred to yet on this particular challenge. Okay, so um, uh, which of these companies is is sending you text messages to help with your mental health? Cope Notes. Cope Notes, that's right. Seth got it. So Cope Notes. So Cope Notes is off the board. Bikini's off the board. Covalence off the board. Um, because we only just pulled this up, I'll keep Burst Fitness and Share Hope since we are in guest chat, since we are in Westminster, since we haven't actually in used it. <laughs> anyway, all right. So the rest are still a uh, game here. Okay, so which of these companies' um, founder recently moved to Mount Airy from New York City? Sustin. Sustin Energy, that's right. Leo. And Leandro's not here today, but um, he has just really like jumped right into our community. I know he's connected with the Carroll Media Center. He's connected with the original systems. They're striking up partnerships left and right. So, Leo, we're really glad to have you in the community. All right, so Sustin Energy is off the board. Which of these companies is based in Grenada? Grenada. <laughs> Come on, we already you talked about potato, this. You say potato, I say potato. <laughs> Guess chat. Guess chat. That's right. Rick Leinbach from Star Portal got that one. Feel free. Yeah, come on up. That's right. If you've already gotten enough swag and you want to defer your swag to somebody else who hasn't gotten any, by all Travel means. Mug. Yep. Travel mugs, ceramic mugs. Okay. So guest chat's off the board. Uh, which of these is a team from Johns Hopkins University developing an AI? Yes, Vicki Slinkman. Personics. Personics is correct. 
Come on up, get more of your swag. Or I think I got everything. You got everything? You want? Yeah. <laughs> just going for. You can only have so much swag. swag. Like <laughs> all right, so Personic Stuff is all. We still have banner. Together Studios. We still have Restore. We still have Burst Fitness. We still have Share Hope True Art, Westminster Coffee, and Cado. Uh, which of these startups is their founder is based in Utah? Cado. Cado, you got it, Nikki. Job. Don't ask me Nikki's not even doing this for swag anymore. She just wants to crush the competition. So what does Kata mean? Do you, does anyone know what Kata means? He did tell us. I don't know. It's French, but I can't it's remember. French. But the spelling's Very different, good. right? Yes, he changed the spelling, but it was French. Because yeah. we looked that up yesterday, and it doesn't exist as a word. Yeah. This doesn't okay. start with a K. He's it's changed the spelling. And I'm not sure we're saying it right. It's French. Right. It's Kado. 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 Kado, I do. I do. Kado. I do have to say it with that, like French. Kado. 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 All right, so Kado, Kado, Kado is off the board. Okay. Um, <clears throat> which of these businesses' founder has written several books, including one about the crap philosophy? Crap happens philosophy. <laughs> Vicky. Share. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Excellent. Vicky is on fire. All right. Vicky is no longer. Oh. And we have another Vicky oh, no. who's been answering. I'm, I'm coming back. Um, Vicky Auerbacher. Come back. Okay. From, uh, she's had set. She had answered the Coke notes. Uh, Coke notes. Oh, great, Vicky on Facebook. Thank you very much. We will make oh. sure we get that to you. Um, know she didn't you can see Emma after she heard the answer here. I mean, that was really <laughs> it's the honor system. It's the honor system. Yeah. 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 We're all right. Honest people. All right, Share Hope New Art is off the, off the board now as well. That leaves Westminster Street Coffee. That leaves Verse Fitness Restore and Together Studios, right? Okay. All right. Which of these <laughs> startups owner is probably related to Maria Shriver? <laughs> so, Together Studios. Together Studios, that's right. <laughs> I don't know if she's really related to Maria Shriver, but I think all the Shrivers are related to some extent. Somehow. All right, so that leaves Verse Fitness, Westminster Street Coffee, and Restore, right? Yes. All right, so which of these, um, uh, which of these founders is an engineer by trade? Westminster Street. Westminster Street Coffee. Steve Lowe got it again. Good job. Yeah. All right. Yeah. By all means. What's the score? <laughs> What's the score? Uh, All right. All right. You got competition going. <laughs> so we've got first fitness and restore left. All right. Which of these uh, uh, just had their um, leadership move over to Carroll Technology and Innovation oh, Council? Oh, 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 oh. Restore. That's right. Um, that's Speech. Yes. We'll, we'll do the community updates right now. Okay. So. And then, of course, whoever's the first person to raise their hand, which of these is a personal fitness uh, company? Kim Samuelson, you got it. First Fitness. First Fitness. Okay. So thank you all for participating. Uh, uh, on Facebook Live, we'll be sure to get the, um, get the uh, swag out to you. Um, and then, let's see here. Let's get the, uh, where did my screen? So, okay, for um, community updates, who here has a community update they would like to share? Tina? Well, Chris, yes. you want to come up here first? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. All right. You're the biggest news in the room, guys. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting. What's the website? Carol? Uh, I don't know. We never go there because you know. It's <laughs> called so, oh, Kim. Boy. <laughs> so. First off, I want to thank uh, Habitat for Humanity of Carroll County and Restore for just, you know, giving me the opportunity to really embed myself in this community and, and have the opportunity to uh, become the next executive director of the Carroll Tech Council. I'm extremely excited about this opportunity and, you know, I'm looking forward to collaborating with pretty much everybody in this room uh, and really anyone who is interested in doing something innovative in Carroll County. So thank you all for your support that I've had, that you've given me over the months and years, and I look forward to working with you. Anybody have any questions for Chris? Anybody have questions for Chris? Yeah.
Sorry. It's about oh, Restore. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, if anyone yeah, has any questions, questions about Restore, yes. Where, yeah. Where's your office going to be? Uh, in the, um, in the nonprofit. Nonprofit, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. None of that's changing. So. Gotcha. And um, who do we get to chat with at the Restore now that you're... Undecided, but you can right now over the next you know couple of months you can you can chat with Bree Wade, who's the assistant manager there. Um, you can chat with uh, Claire Haddock if you have any volunteer questions, or you can chat with Joel Garrett if you have, if you want to make a donation. We're still you know I mean I'm blown away by how great this community has been as far as supporting the restore. So if you can continue to do that, if you can continue to give when you can. And it'll be great. You know, we're looking forward to, to breaking ground on the house uh, coming Q2 or Q3 in Tallinn Town. Um, Town. Yeah, we just opened the applications for those. So please you know, keep continuing to support us, and you know, we appreciate all that you've been able to do for, with us. Um, but any, any questions for you? Yeah. I have a question for you personally. Why? Why would? Why move? Mainly because, so I, the last year I've spent pretty much engrossing myself in humane tech. And I have this dream of companies that are out there to do more than just make money. Yes, making money is part of it, but also that is out there to benefit the people around. So people like Coke Notes, for example, you know, you know, they've had some financial success from what I understand from the presentation, but you know, they're also out there providing more better ways for humans to interact and I, I think you know our social media deserves that I think we deserve that as people um, to you know have better ways to interact you know we have great you know think things like infinite love project happening which you know is in person but I think our online communities are the next thing I think being able to you know connect to people who have different thoughts who have different beliefs throughout the world that's so important and creating discourse around our differences and, and in a way to have conversations is still missing. I mean, I think, you know, there's, there's the text out there, but it doesn't sort of promote that. So Facebook doesn't promote, sorry, I'm move that not Facebook here, but, um, <laughs> but <laughs> that's not, that's not the point, but I think there's better ways to do that. Um, through technology. Yeah, through technology. And so that's why, the change is that's sort of where my passion has been, and I get to do it full time now. Yes. We have a question on Facebook. Where is the restore? Where is it? 433 Han Road, Westminster, Maryland, 21157. We are right across from Hans, so you can come to the restore, go over to the Hans. Uh, they, not we. They, they. they. <laughs> well, it's still a part It's of still we. I, I, I'll, I will always. Oh, it's a part. Yeah. But um, go over to Hans, get a breakfast sandwich and coffee. It's really good. If you, I mean, people, you sleep on Hans. It's it's delicious. <laughs> you no, know, I mean it's 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 great. Um, go right, over there. right around the corner from the post office. Yeah, but and uh, the uh, non building. So we're yeah, yeah, right down the street. Yeah, you don't have to much for yeah, no, that doesn't really change. So. All right, any more questions, Chris? Nope. All right. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? And if you want to come up, let me know your website. And we'll pull up on the screen for you. Anybody else have a community update? I'll do this. Oh, all right. Well, Rick raises hand up. There you go. Get you on up on that one. You know what? Can you put up the I'm going to do like a public service announcement. So, can you put up all the companies that we've had? Oh, here at one of the cups? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't load them all. Oh, that's fine. Just on the same screen, that. but you can yeah. see there's plenty. You can say with half those folks haven't had much attention. There you go, yeah. So, and so, um, yeah, for me, just, you know, I guess I want to do more of a public service here, especially for folks that haven't been here. And I thank, you know, One Million Cops, thank Graham for bringing us to, to Westminster. I think it's been great. And I think the resources and just listening to these presenters even though I can't remember half of them at times when I see the picture, I do. But for us in the community, um, you know, having Chris you know, jump into his position is great. But if you have people that want to want to pursue their passion, their dream, there are so many resources here. And many of them, especially coming here, there's no cost, there's no pressure to do anything, but relationships are developed. 
Um, also, the resource, the resources in town, whether it's Tom at the community college will sit down with you, part of his program. Um, SBDC will help you with the business plan. And all of this does not cost, you know, funding to start. And that's part of my goal is helping people you know, pursue their dreams without doing it in, in A, borrowing from grandma, I'll preach that always, and, and B, making sure you do it within a, a structured period of time. So go get your dream, but make sure you can pay your bills. So uh, just you know, putting that in place. And then folks here, there are resources here that are combined with dirigible systems, on talking to Leo, those type of things, nurse links. I mean, so I, I ask you to, to help us reach out to all parts of Carroll County. Um, you know, we're here in Westminster, which is centralized, which is great, but we need to touch Mount Airy, which Leo's from Mount Airy, Eldersburg and Tawnytown, et cetera. So that, that's our mission at Starter Portal. And I know everybody here, you know, some way, somehow will help us, you know, bring more people in one million cups. So this is an unpaid public service announcement. Rick brings up a great point, yes. May I also, sorry yeah. about that, just uh, <laughs> since I'm up here, I do want to say that uh, part of those resources have to do with um, Burke. I've talked to Burke about resources. Uh, Carroll County Schools. Um, we have Warren, who is our intern that started this week to help us with uh, with technology. Warren, Warren from FSK High School. So, uh, and then we also have an intern from Westminster High School, um, Michael. Michael. I was going to say Matthew. Michael, who is part of the um, Finance Academy in Westminster. Mm -hmm. It's a little more structured. So it's uh, it's lots of resources. So uh, welcome our interns. Speaking of interns, Magic also has two interns that have started recently. We have Cody here from West, uh, from Winters Mill, and then we also have Logan, who is from uh, Liberty High School. So uh, we have Magic is thrilled to have um, our high school intern as well. And really just, you know, this is a great sort of opportunity to sort of thank the career coordinators at Carroll County Public Schools. We've done a great job of connecting us and Star Portal and others with these internship opportunities. So thank you the career, to the career coordinators. All right, Steve Lowe from 127 Creative. Come on up. Which website should I pull up? At me. So, uh, biz challenge season is, hey, I got your Facebook, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm into that. Anyway, biz challenge season is almost above us, um, which means in uh, eight days, we're kicking it off at the uh, Carroll Community College, room K100, five o'clock. The biz challenge is, in my opinion, the coolest thing that happened. I know I say this all the time, but... And you're cool, but I mean, the biz challenge is, is it's super, it's the coolest thing that happens in Carroll County. So it's a, it's a startup competition where dozens of entrepreneurs, wannabe entrepreneurs, budding entrepreneurs apply, and then the uh, advisory team picks five out of all of those to compete at the live finale at the Carroll Arts Center in August. There are actually three significant prizes uh, on tap. We've got the $5,000 cash prize and the reason there's a little plus there is because it's usually like 20 grand or so more in other valuable prizes and services that companies donate so you could donate to that too we haven't really built that out yet so it's five grand plus all of that then there's a thousand dollar people's choice award at the live event the audience decides who gets that and also for the second time we started this last year the, the United Way of Central Maryland is sponsoring a thousand dollars go up, I don't know, for now, uh, people, uh, Change Maker Award, where they kind of have their own criteria, and they pick someone from all of the applicants, not necessarily one of the final five. Anybody that applies uh, is kind of a candidate for, for that award, and they basically just decide who they think is going to make the, the most community impact. So a lot of stuff going on, a lot of three, three pretty cool prizes, and uh, the application period opens. No. Uh, February 10th, right after the kickoff. But every and you're invited to the kickoff, even if you're not going to apply. Just come; it's cool. Meet meet people that are probably going to apply, or some of the judges will be there, some of the sponsors will be there. There's food, there's all beverages. Why wouldn't you come 
uh, and then it opens, the application period opens right after that. Go to carolbizchallenge.com and uh, tell every entrepreneur you know. And I think this is going to be probably, hopefully, the best one ever. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. Thank you. Any questions for Steve? No question? Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, any other uh, community updates? Nick, come on up. Is there a website I can pull up for you? Um, you can uh, pull up uh, the Star Portal website and the uh, go to the events tab. So just another reminder, we are having our pitch night. Uh, it's coming up. Uh, we're thinking the second week of February. We have a few people signed up. Definitely have a few spots available. So if you want to pitch, you can just go to starterportal.com, go to our events page, just click on there, follow the instructions, and there's a, and you can select what night would be best for you. Uh, also, we're hosting the uh, Chamber PM Connections on the 24th. So one really cool thing that we're doing is we're offering uh, headshots. So you can come in here, network, have a good time, and then go back in the co-working space in the podcast studio and get your headshot, free or cost. Right. So, I mean, nice. so, yeah, so it's something really cool we're doing. And uh, also, we want to, just a little correction, we want to welcome uh, Evan, our intern. Sorry. Uh, I didn't correct him because I thought he said one. <laughs> so, yeah, so, we, so uh, you can sign up for the uh, PM Connections at the Chamber. So uh, we're looking forward to it, and I uh, hope to see you there. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions for Nick? Any questions for Nick for Star Portal about that? It's a, it's a pitch, right? Yes. It's an idea versus a business yes. perspective. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for candidates that have ideas, not full business plans. Right. Okay. Candidates that have ideas, not full business plans, in case you couldn't hear that. It's a normal iPad. That's okay, Rick. It happens to the best of us. Uh -huh. uh, it's too many long drives to Cumberland. I can't <laughs> case you um, also, um, when Rick was mentioning, you know, spread the word about what we're doing here, what the Star Portal's doing, what the Carol Business Challenge is doing, what One Million Cups is doing, we also need presenters for One Million Cups. So please, 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 if you know anybody that hasn't presented yet, or if you're someone who has presented and you want to do an update, um, we can do like an official update where you can share information, all that kind of stuff, outside of just these community updates. So, um, because right now we don't have anyone scheduled for next week. I have to. Um, send some word out to some people to see if we can get somebody for next week. But um, anyway, so there's lots of opportunity to get up here in front of everybody. Any other community updates? Yes, Judy Beers from Share Hope PR. Come on up. Do you want me to pull up the website for you? Oh, on Facebook. So why use? Yeah, come on this way. So when I was here, I gave all the ideas, and there's way too many ideas, so it's kind of like focus on one and do it well. So focusing on the Craft Happens philosophy, and I'm hoping this will end up being a fundraiser to do all the share hope and doing everything for free and sticking with that. Um, I had 20 pages of previews. I'm like, oh, let me just do one book. So instead of 100 pages, it's um, at 270 right now. So, but it's big font, so it's still like easier to read. <laughs> with pictures. With, with some pictures, we have um, crappy um, acts of destruction and the be kind signs that are spray painted, and I give a shout out to her websites. Because it's like, how is that not the crappiest thing ever? Um, we spray paint be kind. Like, that got, that's got to go in a book. Like, <laughs> um, so it's combining. A book I did years ago, um, after I did grad school, the interconnected theory that deals with all the psychology and all. Um, so it's going to be crap happens philosophy, introducing the psychology and sociology of crap. So <laughs> it's going over over even my head because I'm learning way too much. I'm like, because you Google a term and like fifty quotes come up and you're like, oh god. So it goes from like Socrates and Confucius to like. Um, some people are born, you know, in the last 15 years. Like, so it's a huge array, and I'm putting people's date of births in there and life. So it's kind of fun. Um, there's a quote, and I don't know if I should take it out because I don't want to speak badly of anyone famous, but um, there's a quote, I'm too busy making history to read history. So that's why I'm doing that dates of birth, um, Kanye West. <laughs> he inspired me to teach history. 
So, <laughs> so I'm like, who, who says that? You're teaching ignorance. So like, really? Like, that's not cool. Like, so I'm going to repeat the same mistakes over and over every generation, you know? Like, let's not. Yeah, let's not and say we didn't. <laughs> um, so it's growing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to focus on that. And then once that's done, I'll try to edit it and actually get a product I can sell. So I have to learn copyright tools. But... And I wanted to get feedback because I'm like, I haven't studied all like different religion and different things, but um, you know, so it's gonna, and I'm putting um presidents in there right now. Um, there was a president who said if I'm not um Catholic enough, I'll have you choke on your rosary or something. So <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, so that like potentially go in there, but I was like, that doesn't sound very mature to, you know. For a president. Yeah, yeah. Um uh, he's in office. I don't know if that's wrong to say. But wow. I was like, really? 2004, yeah. yeah. Um, but so that's kind of, that's, you know, that's kind of crappy. Uh, I do like Dorothy Day, who said, oh, it's about a revolution of a heart. I was like, that's what it's supposed to be about. Not like choking people on it. Like, come on. <laughs> so, yeah. So in another few months, I'll hopefully present on this. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. And how long have you, in your research now, how long have you seen the written record of people referring to the sort of crap happens philosophy? You mentioned Socrates and Confucius. Is it um, like I've been people talking, commenting on crap happening for a very long time? So, the, um, if you do nothing, say no, if, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Has the law of con conservation, or whatever that. Whatever it is, um, 500 BC. Like I'm getting quotes like from oh, yeah. AC before Christ. BC. Yeah, so it's about 2,500 wow. years of quotes. Wow, that's a lot of research. <laughs> well, at the previews there was going to be a quote book, so I already had them drafted in a different old computer that I haven't even pulled up. Right. So it's going to be big. Wow. <laughs> and then we can, you know, make a big one and then make smaller ones in a series. <laughs> Chop it up. All right, any other updates from the community? Tina Thomas, come on up. Which one should I pull up? Uh, because I got that. This is our current website, which I have to say I built. Um, using a basic WYSIWYG template, you know, plug and play kind of thing. But uh, I'm grateful to uh, our community, One Million Cups. Um, we have hired uh, Justin Willett with Global Media. He's currently putting together a new website for us. Thank you so much. Um, there's so much going on. The collaborations in this community are amazing. We have amazing people here. There is no pretense when it comes to the support that you can get from this business community, and we're so grateful. Um, let's see, uh, we have uh, won a grant from the Hay Westminster community. So, so thankful. Hey Westminster, let's be awesome. Uh, number one, that's an awesome concept to begin with, where just a bunch of people from the community get together and say, hey, let's just give some more people some money to continue doing what they're doing. Uh, so thank you to the Hay Westminster um, committee. Uh, we also have uh, collaborations going on with uh, Burke. We have an intern through Burke, so uh, thank you to Burke for that. We are working with Western Maryland College, um, who is also a huge supporter of Hay Westminster. Uh, but they have um, a couple of different programs that um, it, you can uh, plug into uh, if you're in the community to, um, to uh, connect with students who are trying to forward what they're doing at the college. Um, from internships, uh, things of that nature, uh, and uh, also putting together, there's, they have a student um, uh, center for um, experience uh, where they actually hold paint events and uh, anti-bullying and kindness events, um, and they have gotten some of our uh, ready-to-paint signs uh, to help spread kindness. Uh, collaborations with uh, Carroll Community College, uh, looking at working with the Bonds Meadow Rotary uh, to put on a music event, potentially in their amphitheater this summer. 
um, to uh, help connect the community in, in positive ways. Uh, working with uh, uh, some, some of the things that come out of the videos that, that are being shot, uh, that were shot with the Hey Westminster group, uh, and shout out again to Justin Willett for that video, uh, is uh, someone reached out to us from GT Cabinets out by the airport, uh, and they're going to be um, working with us to give us reclaimed plywood to help uh, make more signs, uh, to spread more kindness in our community. Uh, yeah, I'm grateful for that, it's amazing. I'm trying to remember all of the things that I wanted to say. Um, Winter market. Winter the, market. The, yes, um, thank you. The <laughs> farmer's market that helped us get our start uh, at Infinite Love Project is uh, hosting its first ever winter market. It's uh, in the little white uh, building across from Johansson's on Main Street, and it's called the Downtown Westminster Winter Market. It starts this Saturday. It's uh, Saturdays 9 to 1 through April. Uh, so if you have any uh, questions, you can go to our events page uh, at BeKindSign.com or Google Downtown Westminster Farmers Market. And they're going to have uh, good food there and of course Be Kind Signs. And, and uh, uh, um, yeah, highly recommend you come down and support local. And it's indoors. It's in uh, this little white building we call, we call the Stocksdale building. So I'm so glad that the, the city purchased that and we can now make use of that. Uh, excellent. I um, want to uh, thank uh, uh, the people at, um, oh, there's so many people here. <laughs> Everybody. I um, uh, want to thank the, the people behind yeah, the organization that is going to have this this challenge Carol, thing that Carroll County Chamber of Commerce. Counter County Chamber of Commerce. They have a new website. The Chamber of Commerce has a new website. Shout out to uh, Mike and Becky and everybody who's worked on that. Um, so go check out the new Chamber of Commerce website and uh, thank them and Steve for uh, putting together the Biz Challenge. We have uh, been um, uh, applicants before. We're going to apply again. So highly encourage you to apply there. Um, the One Million Cups is, is kind of new. Uh, we're, we've been here, what, about a year-ish? A little over a year. Um, but the Biz Challenge is like an annual entrepreneurial get-together. Um, and the, the Chamber's been doing it for over a decade. So uh, highly, highly encourage you to check out the Biz Challenge. Um, there we go. There's the new Chamber website. It's amazing. Um, um, use it as a resource to connect with other businesses in your community as well. And... Then, uh, so I said the downtown, yep, we'll be downtown on Saturday from 9 to 1. You can come visit us um, on Main Street in Westminster. Uh, there's a couple of other connections that have been made. Um, we're we, we're going to have a new website. Hopefully so. <laughs> it's a process that you go through, you know, that creativity uh, that you're trying to put together. Um, we are also working with uh, people like uh, Magic. And hopefully soon we'll be working with Chris over at Carroll Tech and anybody else who is in the uh, Metaverse NFT space um, putting together a utility of how this whole new network of, um, of technology uh, can benefit us in real life. Um, uh, there's a whole section of um, people out there going, it's not just gaming. Well, yes, gaming is fun, but where's the utility? Where's the connector? So we're, we're starting to work in that space. So I encourage anyone who is working in that space to give us a contact um, because we're looking forward to figuring out how we can help um, people in the community. And then lastly, I guess what I'd like to say from an update standpoint is um, uh, it is kind of crappy uh, that someone has been um, defacing signs uh, around town around the county actually uh, and so I, all I have to say is it's not political turn off the news plant a garden and then come communicate with me so that I can take your your energy that's being used to deface these signs and help us like build community and be positive and um, and work together uh, that's all I got to say on that <laughs> <laughs> Tina. All right, yeah, that's a very nice website. Uh, any other community updates? Oh, hey. <laughs>
Um, all right, well, let's give you all back your time. You got five minutes left. Please feel free to kind of mingle. Oh, Tina, why don't you come back up and send us out? I, I always forget to. Put one MC up there? Yeah, let's just put the website up there. Okay. We are caffeinated. Thank you so much for Startup Portal, um, for have, hosting us. Thank you, Magic, for putting this all together, as always. Thank you, Jimmy Bird, for the Go Go Juice. Yeah, I've had a few. And uh, <laughs> and and, uh, and the yummy little yeah, butterborns, not mouth butterborns. That's them. Um, thank you to everyone who participates, both here in person and online. Um, it doesn't happen without you. Uh, and, and remember, this is like no pretense, here to help you figure out what you want to do in your business, whether it's just taking your idea and trying to figure out if it's viable. Can, you know, can I make my side gig the thing that I do for a living that makes brings me joy? Um, we can help you figure that out here. So go to 1milliancups.com, the number 1milliancups.com slash Westminster and click apply. Um, come chat with us. You never know where it may go. Um, sometimes we have one presenter, sometimes we have two, and next week it could be you. So we'll hope to see you then.